so this video is again about the rocket quad thing I designed actually quite a while ago it was pretty much uh, more than a year ago one and a half years ago I was stuck at the airport in Paris and I got terribly bored and at the time it was right when quad star drones was doing the 200 mile per hour speed records with um, aerodynamic 500 squads so that kind of inspired me to do an aerodynamic design myself but I wanted it to be fully 3d printed so this is what I came up with sort of looks like an old school rec uh, rocket <laughs> It's got kind of airfoils and it's just three parts that are completely 3D printed. So I'm using only PLA here. And as you can see, basically, if you look at it from this angle, it's a normal quad motor that's sitting here. The stack is in here. And I mean, the overall result after printing it looks like this. This is my second prototype. If you saw the last video, I already crashed, crashed one of them. Uh, motors are still the same. GPS is still the same. Things I upgraded are the stack. There's a Mamba F722 in there now, so it will, will run 6S. I have a GNB 556S, so I hope this will provide a lot of power. It's a tiny pack. That's the only thing I'm worried about. I have no idea if it will supply enough amps. If you look at this compared to a 1300, which is what, uh, as far as I know, Quadstar drones used, it's way bigger. Uh, but also the, the power train here is pretty small. Um, so it's going to run on a 6S 3500 kV 1408 motors, which are perfect. The props aren't perfect. These are high pitch tri blades, but I think bi blades would be better. But there's not much choice in in free inf. So this, these are the props I'm going to use, and I'm really looking forward to how fast this thing is going to go. Um, the main body, the white part, is PLA for stiffness. Uh, the, the gray stuff is PLA plus. It's a little bit more flexible than PLA, so this uh, should give it a bit more crash resistance. But I'm using PLA here to make have it really stiff and don't run into vibration problems. Inside, another upgrade to get some decent video footage. Here's a run cam. Split Nano 3 inside, so I'm gonna have HD footage. And that's about it. It's actually a pretty simple thing, pretty basic 3-inch stuff inside. Um, of course, one of the downsides of design is that the whole 3D printing and um, aerodynamic body, it's actually kind of heavy. So the, the powertrain is basically the same as on a 3-inch, and if you compare this with a normal 3-inch, it's, it's actually huge. It's pretty big, and it's kind of heavy. So... If I put this on a scale, as you can see, it's 218 grams without the battery. If I add the 550 on top, I'm at 320 grams, which is, um, it's kind of heavy. So it's like 50 grams heavier than it would be if it just was a 3 inch. But still I think the aerodynamic advantage should make this thing quite fast. Also it sort of has symmetric airfoil so it will be able to generate lift just from the angle of attack and be able to use less of the thrust to maintain its altitude. This is how I'm hoping that this will go very fast. So let's take this thing outside. I have a fully charged up 6S and let's see how this performs on a 6S with those ridiculously high KV. Um, yeah, let's go inside. All right, so I have a nice wide open field. Uh, perfect conditions, good weather, so let's try this. Takeoff will be quite simple. Landing a bit more complicated. As you can see, the thing is just standing in an empty roll of toilet paper, but that's enough to, uh, to get it uh, in the air. So let's try this, let's see how fast we can get.
better. I'm honestly kind of surprised how well this thing flies. I mean, I didn't try to do any flips or rolls or anything crazy because, I mean, why should I? But I think it should, I could actually be able to do it. Um, I reached 256 kilometers an hour, which, uh, I mean, is far from being any world record or something. Although for a free engine, a free deep printed drone, I think this is really kind of fast. And let's not forget this, this is still stock beat of like 4.1, so it's actually quite surprising how well the software handles this. Now, um, takeoff was a piece of cake, it was really easy, but uh, landing was kind of rough, uh, but it survived, it's not broken. I think it's just I really can't see anything while landing. I mean, I could tilt the camera to a smaller angle, then I would be able to basically fly this like a normal quad, but then I wouldn't see anything on the speed run, so it's kind of difficult, but I mean, overall, that thing was kind of fun. So all those files will be on Thingiverse. So if you want to print your own and build this, um, it's not very complicated to build and set up. It's basic FPV parts and all these files will be on Thingiverse for you to download for free. All right, guys, I hope you found this entertaining. Bye bye.